Good evening. I'd like to provide the American people with an update on our efforts to protect the integrity of our very important 2020 election. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. If you count the votes that came in late, we're looking at them very strongly. But a lot of votes came in late. I've already decisively won many critical states, including massive victories in Florida, Iowa, Indiana, Ohio. To name just a few, we won these and many other victories despite historic election interference from big media, big money, and big tech. As everybody saw, we won by historic numbers. And the pollsters got it knowingly wrong. They got it knowingly wrong. We had polls that were so ridiculous, and everybody knew it at the time. There was no blue wave that they predicted. They thought there was going to be a big blue wave. That was false. That was done for suppression reasons. But instead, there was a big red wave. And it's been properly acknowledged, actually, by the media. They were, I think, very impressed. But that was after the fact. That doesn't do us any good. We kept the Senate, despite having twice as many seats to defend as Democrats, and in a really uh, much more competitive states. We've uh, we did a fantastic job with the Senate. I think we're very proud of what's happened there. We had many more seats to defend. They spent almost $200 million on Senate races in South Carolina and Kentucky alone, two races, and hundreds of millions of dollars overall against us. At the national level, our opponent's major donors were Wall Street bankers and special interests. Our major donors were police officers, farmers, everyday citizens. Yet for the first time ever, we lost zero races in the House. I was talking to Kevin McCarthy today. He said he couldn't believe it. Zero races. Very unusual thing. Zero. And actually won many new seats with, I think, many more on the way.